Mr. Owl, it looks like our friends are here. Hi there and welcome back. I'm so excited you are here today. Mr. Owl, I cannot wait to get started. I am wondering about all of the colors around us and how some of the colors are the same, but just a little bit different. Are you ready to get started? Before we begin, I'm going to pour myself a cup of tea. And while I do that, can you gather your supplies and meet me at the table? Today is a great day to be talking about colors. Do you remember from our last lesson how we talked about things that are exactly the same and things that are the same but just a little bit different? Well, that's what we're going to talk about with our colors. Did you know that when we pay attention to all that we see around us, whether it is shapes or sizes or things that are far or near or even colors, we are training our math minds to become stronger. So are you ready? To start for our first lesson, I am going to get my paper and a red crayon, but I want you to watch me first, then it will be your turn. So here's my paper and my red crayon. And I know we know about colors, but let's see what you notice when I color with my red crayon. I'm going to count to three, and then when I stop, we are going to take a look at what happened on my paper. Ready? Here we go. One, two, Three, tell your teacher what you notice about my coloring. Did you notice that my color red changed while I was coloring? The color is still the same, but it's just a little bit different. One side is darker and the other side is a lot lighter. Now it is your turn. I want you to grab your crayon and a piece of paper and I will do one with you again. But first, let me tell you something that could happen if we're not careful. When I press really hard with my crayon, do you see a problem that could happen if I press super hard? It could break. Be careful when you press really hard. Let me get my paper and I'm gonna pick a new color. I like purple, so let me grab purple. Ready? Remember to press carefully when we color, and we want to color darker to lighter. So we want our color to be same, but just a little bit different. When I start counting, you can start with me. And when I say three, let's make sure to stop. Ready? Here we go. One, two, three, stop. Look at your drawing. Do you notice one side of your coloring is darker than the other side of your coloring? You made your color the same, but just a little bit different. Good job. I am going to clean up my crayons and it is time for our next activity. Are you ready to practice making our colors the same, but just a little bit different? This time, we get to use paint. But when you paint, I want to make sure that your teacher at home helps you pour the colors so that we don't make a big mess all over our classroom. I'm going to get my paper. And here's my paint. I'm gonna use blue, and if I needed to make blue a little bit lighter, do you know what color I should be using to make it lighter? Would black work? No, white. I'm going to get white, and we will use blue and white to make my color the same, but just a little bit different. 
Are you ready? Let me grab my brush. I'm going to grab a big blob of blue. I want to start with my darker color. I need a little bit more. I only have one brush, so I'm going to wash my brush before I mix it into my white paint. If you have another brush, you can just simply trade brushes. Some of you might even want to use your finger or a popsicle stick would be fun. Your teacher can tell you what you should do. There, my brush is ready. Now I'm going to add my white to my paint and let's see if I can change my blue a little bit so that it's still the same but just a little bit different. I'm going to start about right here and mix it in. <gasps> Do you notice what's happening to my paint? I see dark paint and it's transitioning now to super light paint. I can say now my paint is the same, but just a little bit different. I went from dark blue paint to light blue paint. You know what? I might even try making it a little bit lighter. Let's see if I add a little bit more white, what happens? Oh, it did change it a little bit more. I could keep on going, but this seems like something you would really enjoy at home. So why don't you get another piece of paper and maybe some new colors and try making your new colors the same, but just a little bit different. Mm -hmm. I have my book. Do you have yours? Let's turn to page five. There it is. Oh, I see another page filled with colors. Just like we practiced making our paint lighter and darker, today we are going to be looking for colors in our book that are lighter and darker. So take a look at your page. What color do you see the most of? Tell your teacher what color you think there is more of on our page. To me, I think there's more green on our page. So let's start there. Can you point somewhere on our page to a green that is a lighter green than the rest of the green you see? I see the bushes. Do you see the bushes? To me, that is a very light green. Is there another spot on our page that has light green too? Can you find it? Point to it and see what your teacher thinks. I found this little spot by the apples. That is light green. Now, what is the opposite of light green? Tell your teacher. Did you say dark green? You're right. Can you find dark green on our page? Point to it and see what your teacher thinks. Oh, right here seems to be dark green. Are there any other parts that are dark green? Oh, I see under the chicks, the shadows seem to be dark green. But there's even a darker green. Can you find it? The leaves on the flowers are the darkest green on the page. Do you agree? Good job. Now, let's try that again with a different color. Can you find the color that we can see in eight different spots on our page? Tell your teacher what you think it is. Did you say yellow? Yellow is right. Let's count to make sure there are eight. Let's start with the sun because that's the biggest one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 
the yellow is there eight times. So let's look at the yellow. Can you find the darkest shade of yellow on our page? Oh, to me, I think the darkest shade is under the chick's tummy. Do you think so? Is there a lighter shade of yellow that you see on our page? Oh, to me, I think the dog collar is the lightest color I see. And what do you think is the middle color of yellow on our page? There's lots of choices, but I'm gonna say the sun. That's what I think is the middle color. There are still more colors on our page. Should we try one more? Let's look at black. What is black on our page? Right away, I see a big black object, do you? Our little puppy dog is black. But there's more black all over our page. Can you tell your teacher where it is? Did you notice that there's black everywhere? Look at the outlines of every picture. There is black all over our page. But where is the lightest black? Can you point to the lightest black you see? I would say the dog's tummy is the lightest black. Do you agree? Good job. Let's do one more color. Brown. Let's look at brown. Do you see a light brown on our page? Oh, I do. Oh, this one could be a little tricky. Let's decide what we think. Do you think the path has the lightest spots of brown? Or do you think this patch on the tree trunk is the lightest spot of brown? I don't know. Tell your teacher what you think at home. But what about the darkest spot of brown on our page? I think we can agree the darkest shade of brown is by the tree branches. Do you agree with me? Good job. We practiced our colors a lot together, but now I want you to try finding more shades that are the same, but just a little bit different with your teacher at home. And then when you're done, can you look around the room you're in and see if you see colors that are the same, but just a little bit different? And don't forget to look outside. There will be the most colors, I bet, that will be the same, but just a little bit different. You just have to pay attention to the colors around you. Mr. Owl, it looks like our time together is done for the day. But let's remind everyone at home to keep training their math minds to become stronger by observing the colors around them each and every day. And you know what, Mr. Owl? Do you remember what I was wondering when we first started today? I was wondering what colors are the same, but just a little bit different. The most important question is, what do you wonder? See you next time.